とる Hello everyone, this is Nat Nerf signing back in and welcome back to the Somnium Files. I know I skipped the. Uh, I skipped the. How many days? Because I got cut off from the first time. So yeah, this is the continuation. I don't know how long is the continuation, continuation needed to be filled in. I don't even know if the English sentence was correct. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's Mama. No! I don't want to see Mama no more! Uh, you! I feel like we're gonna have a good time with that guy. Not you again! <laughs> no! No! The big boob! The big boob lady! Alright, we're in interrogation integra time. I can't English! Uh, can I. Ooh, camera! This is the camera used to record the interrogation. I'm a spy. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. Can it sense our emotions? Emotions? It is later saved permanently on our servers. How permanent? I uh, know. This is not even charge, The boy I told you to. What time is it? Uh, what time is it? Wait a minute. Come here. What time is it? 30 more minutes. You play 30 more minutes. Okay. 3. 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, go there. Hi. I should mention that. It is currently. It is currently. 7th of April. 1.50 in the morning. So yeah. It's gonna be a lot. Can't you see the freaking power bank? It's right over there near the TV. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's gonna be a long sleepy ride. You can remotely control it as well. Cool. Use for interrogation. The lens is facing Iris. Like in the eyes? Can I? Can I? No, I said there. Can I? Can I? Yeah, the desk. The desk in the middle of the room. Mirror. Two-way mirror. There's a small room on the other side of the mirror, but you can't see it from here. Makes it more intimidating. Myself. Ooh. This is not a bad image. Wait a minute. Let's see if we can get... Sweet to this... Even... Oh, man. Even his head is moving, too. That is awesome. Camera, light camera action. Pipes. The pipes are on the walls of the room. Why do we have pipes again? Security camera. This interrogation has two surveillance cameras. This is one of them. The other is installed near the doorway. Doorway. Wait. Where? I know C. Never mind. Do I like get a chance or something if I make a mistake? Like in Phoenix Wright? Please I do. Do you have an alibi for last night? What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? Very good. Very good intro. I was at home the whole time. Do you have any witness? You're sure? Yes. Iba, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She's telling the truth. She isn't lying. Because she's with Mama. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. Oh uh, yes, actress. Oh, with that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If it's me, my body would always go up in heat, so I, you wouldn't be able to know if I'm telling the truth or not every time. If Iris' story is true, she couldn't have done it. Don't eliminate the possibility yet. Nothing is impossible. There is another possibility. What is that? Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. From her house? You mean... 
you can't just leave me hanging like that. I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? See, si. yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why? Why is that? My mom was at home. Well, then we cannot clarify if you're telling the truth or not. She came back home early this morning. But yeah? This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Your mother. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Oh boy. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Yo, what's with the color? Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. So we have to remember this. Classmate. Former classmate. We've known each other for 20 years now. Hmm. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. Just in case. It's just in case, Aiba. But I am curious. See, si. me too. What was Hitomi doing last night? Si, si. You used to work at Sunfish Pocket, right? I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. Not the pocket of the sunfish. That's right. Don't do that. Can you put down the headphones? It's distracting. How long? Makes me think you have no more human ears. A little over a year. I like the way these jellyfish are decorated. Look at it. It's so cute when they're glowing. When they're illuminating. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. <laughs> what about the surveillance camera? Don't follow me along saying <laughs> What about the surveillance? Do you know where those tapes were stored? In the surveillance. What are you trying to say? I need the cook, I'm here. Quiet you. Here's what Ota told me. See. Si. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m. See. Si. Can we see the camera? Close up. Hey, close up. Uh, can, we, can we talk to her like that? You and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Si. Si, senora. Is that true? Yes. I love it. Even the mirror is reflected too for a response. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket. ASAP. ASAP. I sap you. I sap me. We all sap me. Don't wait. Don't sap me. <laughs> Around what time was that? 5 p.m. I think. Okay, your picture here does not match your face right there. At the moment. I got ready, then headed over there. What did you do there? I guess I got there about an hour later. Oh yeah, transportation and stuff. Ugh. Date, I checked her call history. See? At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. Two minutes delay, but it's okay. What were you doing with Renju? What were you doing with Renju? See. Si. He asked me about a job. Let's not be cheeky about this job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. Um, yeah, probably YouTuber, infamous star. I don't want you to do my MC on my party, thanks. You're creepy enough as it is. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were gonna be there. Did you decline? But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. Did you decline? But I turned him down. Exact. The mundo. Why? He don't like big shots. Because I'm just an internet idol. Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Okay. Especially with important people being there. What if... What's his name? I forgot his name already. Hmm. 
Where is that guy? So, yeah, what if so? What if Sojima is there? So, Jimmy, yeah, so Sojima. Maybe that's what one of the one one of the important people there. I like how you just go back to poker face. What did you do after you turned him down? Mm, mm, mm. I left with Mr. Okira. Eh? The who? At six fifteen p.m. Any. I'll, anything to clarify this? It must have been when Ota saw me. Ooh. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. Hmm. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. But nobody can clarify. What do you think, Aiba? I cannot detect any contradictions. Hmm. However, her story appears almost too organized. Human memory is ambiguous. You want to do... You want to poke her into her memory, right? Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. Yeah. That's true. Too suspicious. Let's look at you first. Nervous. It's understandable, of course, I've been suddenly being taken to a place like this. Yes, this place looks like you want to kill me or something. When did you find out Renji was killed? Mm. This morning, on the news. Lying. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? True. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Not excusable, woman. Is that something you're supposed to do? See. Si. I had a podcast to record this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? Are you causing me trouble now? Wait. Boss, please cover that clean. Am I a suspect? See. Si. I love this room. It's not like that. See. Si. It's fine, Date. Shut it, Iris. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday. But... How do I put this? Hmm... Oh, look the reflections! We're walking in his face! In his face, in his face. Boss! Oh yeah, we can only see Boss. From the other side. There's the door. It's impossible that I'm the killer. Sure. Boss, you, you move so weird, I promise. Why? I'm a teenage girl! Even the ten-year-old can kill! Mr. Ohira is a fully grown man. I don't give a darn. Oh, she's got a point. No, boss. No, boss. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? She knows Kung Fu. No, it's still possible. Yeah. You see. What do I see? <gasps> oh no. Can't see it from here. Oh boy. Boss! You never told me this. The weight is too heavy. This is the camera used to record the interrogation. Images captured by this camera are sent to the database in real time. Hmm. It is later saved permanently on our servers. You can remotely control it as well. Ooh. How to go about this? 
The autopsy discovered a high concentration of benzodiazepine in Renju's body. I don't know science. This drug is commonly used as a sedative. But it's too heavy. It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised consciousness before his death. 160 pounds. Renju's corpse was discovered Ooh. at the meat cafe <laughs> the Sunfish Pocket. Is that thing? Hanging from a beam on the ceiling by a wire. Uh. He was found over the counter. The wire was attached on both ends. To where? One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The other end was attached to beer kegs found on the floor. The kegs hold approximately 20 liters of liquid. How heavy is, twi one, is 20 liters? They weigh approximately 55 pounds each. <laughs> Yuck! The autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels for muscle relaxation upon death. Huh? However, no trace of this was found on the corpse or at the scene. So where did they puke? This means that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere and moved to where he was found. That's another possibility there, but... Renju's estimated TOD is yesterday, around 8 p.m. Numerous hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face indicate strangulation. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's neck and pulled. Renju then suffocated. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. Sunfish Pocket is located on the second floor. According to the records, from 6.30pm until the body was found, the elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55pm, the total weight detected in the elevator was approximately 310 pounds. She is 100... What, her, what was her weight again? What was the weight of that girl? Darn, I shouldn't remember that. 105? I know this watch. It's Renju's favorite. How so? I found it inside an oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. That means... The oil drum inside Sunfish Pocket. The type that has a lid you can open with about a 200 liter capacity. Empty, it weighs approximately 44 pounds. Hmm. I'm very not sure. I was gonna kill. How long am I gonna keep going around and around and around? One sixty. You're 150 pounds, right? You could have been 150 pounds.
Iris could have choked Renju to death. If you are searching for proof of this, you will not find it here. Oh, the choke, okay. Heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Okay. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. Too much dose. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Boss, can you stop talking? Wait a minute. Yeah, wait. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? How do you know about that part? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. The barrels. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Barrel. The barrel. Okay, now I have to know. It's every time there's a question, it has to be really related. So, Barrow. I don't think so, Date. This is irrelevant to the question of how. Okay, very bad. My bad. It went like this. So I don't get penalty. It's great. First, <laughs> Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Don't be so descriptive. It's so disturbing. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? See, si. even I could have done that. I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. But that's not impossible. Even for a teenage girl. Even for... Uh, what's his name? Yota? Mm, I guess it isn't impossible. Even you can do it, boss, with those heavy weights in front of your chest. Yo. After that, you get on top of the counter. Is it? Like hook the other end of the wires to the kegs. And then... What do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? Yeah! The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. And he's about 160. Renju weighs five pounds less. Ta-da! Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. Boss, you're supposed to be the smart one here. But! But! But, there is one more thing. Yeah, boss. Thanks. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. The barrel. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! <laughs> I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160 pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. Barrel! How? It's the barrel! I need more. This one. Because we found the watch in the barrel. Why do I have to sound like Lumiere? Oh, beautiful gold colored watch. Do you know what this is? Zwi, do you know? Do you know, little girl? Not you, little girl. I mean, this little girl on the camera. It's Renju's favorite watch. Do you have to say it? Let them answer before you say it. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Why do you feel? Why do you look more guilty if you're not the one doing it? Don't do that. It's so hey, weird. Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? Cut out, boss. This is my job. What are you trying to say? What? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a bot. You would just have to roll it. 
Oh yeah, no, 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 come back. I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. See. Si. I love how did I have this. I should have discovered this earlier. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum? It was rolled inside the drum. Which is how the watch came off. See. Si. But the suspect didn't notice it. See. Si. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. We. I didn't do it! I know, I just don't like you already. <laughs> you don't even have any witnesses! You don't have any proof either. If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed. You could have put it in a car and driven it. Can you drive? I don't have a license! Don't need one. Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Yeah, just plug Aiba into the car and that will fine. Are you mocking me? Not you! <laughs> Don't make sudden outbursts like that. <laughs> Not that day. You insulted me! Ugh. Just be quiet. <laughs> Dude, you look stupid talking to um, yourself. Not you! Who are you talking to? Yeah. <laughs> now you decide to be quiet, boss. Boss, you can't leave me hanging, booby woman. Now what? Why are you anyway, still walking? Iris, you weigh about a hundred and five pounds, right? Ah, uh, yeah. See, I forgot already. <laughs> Where is this coming from? V. If only you weighed more. Or less. Ah, the 310 pounds. That is none of your business. Quiet! No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. <laughs> Ouch. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Because the elevator weighed 310. Why do you say that? The elevator. I'm getting it now. Iris, <laughs> on which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? This is very, very convenient now. On the second floor? V. That's right. So, I checked the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once. At 8.55 p.m. Hmm. Nobody notice if you're there. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renji weighed 160. You weighed 105. The oil drum weighs 44. One... One kilo less. I mean, one pound less. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Oh yeah. Boss? Why are you... Stop it! Now this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. <laughs> or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs. To throw us off the trail. Yeah, boy. However... <laughs> Boss, don't talk. Dante, what? stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Don't. Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. See. Si. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. Hmm. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Okay. Look at this. Something... 
under the table. She's fidgeting around. Hmm. Maybe she rolled a drum, but she didn't know it's his body inside? Is she doing something under the desk? Ooh. That's what it looks like. It's not good, Iris. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. Mm -hmm. What if she's typing in her phone? We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. Okay, Iba. Boss, you hearing this? Without turning around? Hmm. Yes. How would I do that? <laughs> ah, it's just a lucky guess. What is that? Is that a cell phone? Ah, shit! I knew it! You... Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hmm. Hey! Answer me, Iris! Your interrogation She's room. definitely hiding something, Date. Damn. Sync with her. Isn't this a breach of privacy? Iris is experiencing REM sleep. Medication is working perfectly. We knocked her out! How about it, Date? Think you can do it? I don't wanna do this! Not a problem. Get it started. I hate this. The time limit is six minutes. Whatever, Pewter. So before time is up. I know. I know. Then, let's begin. Dude, I like you when you're serious. How did we knock her out? Kung Fu style? Jackie Chan style? Ah, my earbud. My earbud. My earbud. My earbud. My earballs. Window panel. Oh, the shop. Ooh, now that's a good entrance. Eh, that's a good entrance. I just messed up that in that line. Yo, shrimpy. What is this place? Hollow. It looks depressing. How is this related to Iris? Maybe she was alone? She feels she's alone? Unknown. But there must be a connection. Iris, what are you hiding? In that little TV. Somnium scan! Activate! Superpower! My eyes. Oh, wait. One, two, three, four. Oh, gosh. Sinking in the vein. Discover Isaac's uh, this mysterious video room, a mysterious room, videos, and a strange device. Oh, maybe she knew. Hold on. Hold on. Just in case. Just in case. I always get jinxed. That's up to, that's up to 10 files now. I don't have any more space. I'm gonna re. I have to, I have to over. Uh, over save? Overdrive? On one of them. Oh, this is not good. 
This is definitely not good. What's Iris hiding? What blood? A CRT TV. Huh. Spin it up. Why is it? Oh god. A double door. Okay. One open. It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. I just want to know. And I got a bonus. I don't like touching that. Oh boy. This is very depressing. A CRT. D. <gasps> I knew it. You watched it. Previous death. Oh my. What is this video? It's an old video of the first victim. It is difficult to believe, but these are the faces of the victims of the. What? Oh no! What is going on here? Iris, what are you hiding? It is difficult to believe. But these are the faces of the victims of the original Cyclops killer. Oh my goodness. I didn't know you were that involved. On this. Oh boy. We should continue. There are more objects to inspect now. Oh boy. Picked up the time that has a negative effect. Negative times can multiply time or force you use them. Pick one up, be careful. So, what do I do? A full body mirror. Oh my god, it, it doubled! Okay. A torso with a head. If it has a head, is it still called a torso? <laughs> what would you call it? I don't know. Oh, go! This is not good. What's dirty? special happens you don't have the muscle mass you need to do some training cut it daddy what would be the point of that i do not have muscles i'm a fluorescent shrimp that's what i just said <laughs> i cannot wait for the day i have enough muscle to punch you in the face it will be splendid no 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 you love daddy too much five minutes left daughter a torso with a head. Too fast! Push? No use. Their guard is up. You have to loosen them up first. What do you mean? The traditional approach would be to start with a massage. 
Date? If you are not going to help, should I choke you instead? <laughs> you should try that on them. They might be into that. Date? Date, please stop. <laughs> a torso with a head. I do with that. Whoa, your eyes. What happened? Even my consciousness is being affected. Oh boy. While I was unconscious, the room changed. Again? How much time do I have? I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. Oh no! Operating table, medicine. Let's go first. A drug bottle that holds some kind of liquid. Why would I want? There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. Oh no. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even in Somnium, some things should not be done. Oh boy. Hmm? Operating table. An operating table. Why would I want to sleep in that? Worst thing to do. Four minutes. Gun. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. Even in the dream? Oh, man. It is a pistol. It appears to be fixed with a vice. But where is it pointing? Why would this be here? What's this? The trigger. There is a stick in the hole of the trigger guard. That's suspicious. I'm very curious now. A revolver. Just try. Weekly Shonen? <laughs> Don't say it. What? I did the best I could. I am not a cyborg, and thus I cannot reach that height. This is not my fault. Okay. Nobody's blaming you. Not yet. This soundtrack is scary on its own also. An old television. Even I'm creeped up. 
That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Are you the witness to everything? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? She's the witness. Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Let's go. Gas canister? A common gas canister. Only a shelf. Push. That shelf sticking out. It seems odd. Whoa, you have super strength. Ball. Dude, there's a ball, there's a ball, there's a ball. What? What happened? What's that? A metal ball must have fallen off the shelf. Why would anyone put that there? It's a way of killing. See, beat to death. Three minutes, Date. Quiet. An iron ball. It looks quite heavy. Why would I balance on it? Throw kick. Form, I have impeccable balance. Whatever, Shrimpy. Due to the antennae on my head. <laughs> That's not hair? <laughs> That's. No, don't! Kind of creepy. Please, no, Dante. <laughs> oh? Would you like to see an augmented reality in which my antennae rub all over you? No, thanks! Wow, what lovely antennae you have. So cute. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Very creepy. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Medicine bottle. I am still creeped out by this torso. A torso similar to a fashion mannequin. I want to know. I want to know. Did we got knocked down too? Ugh. I didn't get hit, did I? Huh? Yeah, how did that feel? There is no effect on your body, Date. But... 
hit my soul hard enough. Yeah. While you were unconscious, a television and an old book appeared. I want to get off this ride. It's really... I like how her eyes are moving, too. If my calculations are correct, it will be over soon. I don't want to know. Let's hope you're right. It is a thick book. Let's read it. Let's read it. It has not been well preserved. Most of the ink has faded. Can you tell what kind of book it is? Philosophy? It is probably a book on... <gasps> insects! It's a book on insects! Oh boy, never mind. Don't get excited. I know how you love bugs. You really are a shrimp. <laughs> okay, okay. Does this book belong to Iris? I didn't know she liked insects, and to read the book so often that it wears out. Okay, cut it out. Well, we can't prove it's Iris's. True. We cannot conclude anything. You're too excited. An illustrated reference. I really want to rip it. This will be easy. It's more brittle than crumbly cheese. Uh, oh, it disappeared. Well, now I'm surprised too. Melted down like a grilled cheese. <laughs> like cheese. Still confused by that. An old fashioned TV. I am confused by that gas canister. Turn the dial. Is it the full? Oh no. Oh no. Please. Is Iris the one in red? This was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. Oh boy. Why does Iris know that? She's the red one? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? No. I think she's the red one. Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right. Ooh, this is not good. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. I am confused about this gas canister. A common gas canister. The smell tingles, like sweet and sour. Okay. A ketone. Perhaps acetone? Acetone? Acet? Some relation to Iris? Huh? I cannot determine that with the evidence we have. More than likely, it is coincidence. An iron... Uh, ah! 
Shouldn't that hurt? You okay? <laughs> She's painful. Miss Iba. <laughs> Miss Iba. Ah. Uh. Are you okay? That hurt. This is nothing. Date, be logical. We must continue with the investigation. <laughs> but it hurts. Shouldn't have kicked it so hard. Bye bye. Shoot to death. Shoot to death. Shoot to death. I didn't check the locker. Just a locker. I heard a metallic sound, like gear spinning. Is there something inside? Be careful, Iba, just in case. Roger. Just a locker. Okay. Whoa! Ah! Oh man! Iba? We're okay. It's all right. More importantly. Oh no. Did we? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We accidentally made a domino. No, 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 no. Let there no be mannequin down there. No, 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 no. Is the killer? That is the killer. That is the suspect. A minute. <laughs> what happened in that somnium? What? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killers. Are you? That they are the killer? That means. The murders that occurred six years ago. Are these memory fragments that coalesced in this somnium? 
Is that the kill? No. That means the person who killed them was you. Oh no. Boss? Please arrest me. Tell me now. Didn't I tell you? No. Tell me now. The entire case is a state secret. No. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. Cut it out. Tell me now. The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. And they're in her head. I lost my memory six years ago. I'm in her memory. There has to be some kind of connection. You cannot say no now. There isn't. It's a coincidence. No, boss. Really? Really. Boss, you're hiding something. Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer? Right. And that's me. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. Exactly. Now you gotta tell me these. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. Hi, bye. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. Oh boy. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. Oh boy, I hate your theory right now. They are so on point. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, you're not. I'm scared for my life. If it's me, I would be scared. I would just I, I just surrender. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Impa. Really? How do you know? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You don't know! You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. Quiet! Stop lying. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? Oh boy. And not just one, but all four? Five. Five. Hmm. If we count her mother, it might be five. Where's Iris now? Okay, she's still there. Okay, I can't turn this time. Hey, Butte. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. I highly doubt it. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. Hmm. <laughs> we don't know I could be sleeping and these things all happen. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. 
How can you be so sure? Because I can. You're the one who said earlier that I could be the one. That they could be the one. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. I don't trust you no more. In the Somnium earlier. This just got dark very quickly. I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. Remember what the boss said this morning. He's right next to me. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. That could be me. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing. Ugh. But in reality, it was dropped completely. I hate this. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Uh, I mean, somebody else's mind, not my own. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. If that could happen, can you please help me with my memory? I kind of want to know where I lost all my other goods in this house. I want to know where I lost my, my laundry. <laughs> When using the sync machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. And what do you want me to see? Hmm, Alice in Wonderland? Ow. What is this? True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. Still, my face is there. But it's not But this is not a guarantee. But my face is in there. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. My face is there. Hey. It's like I told you before. I don't know what you told me. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. No, I'm a... This can be expressed as an equation. 1 plus 1 equals 3. Dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. Wait. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. We don't know that. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. So everything what she saw is in reality. You cannot just make up that mind. In other words, Fiction is built from combinations of reality. Dude, your eye is twitching. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... You cannot tell me that's all fiction. Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. And my face is there. Pewter, you said that memories happen in reality, right? Yes. But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Good question. Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. I only have just minutes. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. What's that you mean? Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. But I've seen my face! I didn't learn anything from speaking with the boss, computer. If anything, the mystery only grew deeper. Exactly, my face is there! And stop parting your hair, Miss Beautiful. <laughs> Peter, shoot me from your thoughts. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Oh, no, you don't. Got it. I don't want to talk to her no more. I had it. I don't want to go there. 
Boss, you go in. Not me. Now what? Hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. How is that me? Dream? What dream? What? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. Oh boy. They will not remember it. What's the point? Then what about the Cyclops killer from six years ago? Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. That's a big fat lie. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. Iris? Why do you still have the headset? I've never been there. Eh? But... Oh boy, this girl is a good actress. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Then she knows something. I'm more confused than ever. Date, could you take Iris home? I don't want to take her home. You take her home. Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Peter, no, I want Boss to take her home. I had enough of this. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. Quiet! The law demands that we release her. What law? I don't see no law book. You cannot decline, Date. I can. I can ask Boss to do it. Don't talk to me! No talking! We're staying in this car quiet! No, I don't want to talk to you! Please, no! Date, could we make a stop first? No! Why, you want to pee? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. Any? You know about that place? Any? Yeah, Mr. Okiura took me before. Oh, Mama! Why do you want to go there? Don't tell me you're gonna drink. There's something I want to talk about. No! I don't want to talk to you no more! We can't talk here? It might take a while. I I'm not talking to you. I don't want to talk to you no more. You're creeping me out. My eyeball's not enough. What do you think? I don't want to talk to her. I want to talk to you, Iba. It's just you. Please. There's no reason to refuse. I have every reason and every right and every point to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. I don't want to ask her nothing! Alright, sure. No! Mama! <laughs> Help me! They're not texting somebody again. Please don't. Aiba! I didn't read that all out. I don't want to read it. She's a word. I don't want to talk to her. Mama! <laughs> Where, Mama? Come on! Tessa! No, you don't. Oh, Ota! Oh. Great. What a small world this is. Yeah, you give me that face, I don't like you either. You, are you Nile? 
I was Niling with Tessa earlier. That's why. She said she was going to Marble, so... Uh, Tessa! I got here just before you did. You're suspicious, too! Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. Oh, ta! So you found your phone now, huh? No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. Yeah, because it looks the same. Where's Mama? Oh, she left a little while ago. <laughs> She said something about going to help an acquaintance? Huh? She told me to watch the place until she got back. Oh boy. You're very unreliable, you know that? How well do you know Mama? Not at all. The... It's my first time here. <laughs> that they were, uh, we are watching over little innocent children. We're in a bar! In a bar! I was not particularly surprised. Mom was always dependent on the kindness of strangers ever since she opened Marvel. Great. Ugh. This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. Yeah, sure! It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. Yep. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. Oh yeah. Speak it! What were you talking about? Well, uh... Tessa? Shush! I'll tell her about the two-witter thing. I swear I'll do it. Jeez, fine! Just don't tell anyone else, okay? <laughs> To Witter. But before I tell you, who's that? What? What? At the door, someone's standing outside. Na mama? Are you? I hate you so much. This is bad. This is bad. When I woke up, I was lying on the sofa. Mama? <sighs> Where am I? My head was killing me and my memory was foggy. I feel a sudden pain in my neck. Mama! Oh, your savior! Rubbing my neck. When I looked over the counter, I saw a mon- <laughs> No, it's Mama! It's not Monster! If I realized it was just Mama. <laughs> it looks like you're awake now. Finally! It came back rushing to me. I remembered everything. Those bastards. Where did who? Ota? The boy I asked to watch the bar? See. Si. I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone when I came back. Bad! All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Shut it. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. Obviously! What were you doing during all this? She got shocked! My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. <sighs> Mama! It'll be three o'clock soon. No! In the morning, of course. I tried. You wouldn't budge. Huh? I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. 
Why would I drink in your bar? But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. What are you even doing with your hands? It's so weird. My brain is trying to figure out if this is... Uh, talk uh, but never mind. I'm gonna kill that kid if it's the last thing I do. If this case doesn't kill him, I'm gonna kill him with that picture, too. Oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. What? Just like the old days. What would I drink now? Boss is gonna Date, kill me. The boss is calling. Boss is gonna so kill me. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? I suck, I failed, I'm a bastard. Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. What? You found out? Just now, the killer... What? Well, just watch the video. Don't tell me Iris is there. I sent the address to Iba. Boss, don't kill me, please. It's not my fault. I knew it. Iris. <sighs> Never mind. I take. No, that's. Never mind. The criminal is streaming this live. Iba, the source. The soy sauce. Identified. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Out of all places, there! Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. Whatever. Mama, bye! I'll drink later! Whoa! Initially! Running. What's our ETA? Uh, what's that? Sorry. <laughs> our destination is far from here. Estimated time. I forgot what's the name. Twenty minutes at the fastest. Estimated estimated time approximate. I think I don't even know if that's the correct one. Please, please let me make it in time. No, you can't. You become Superman. How? <sighs> that sick bastard! What the? Polar bear? Oh no! Ah oh, no! <laughs> Tessa! Hold on! I'll save you! Ah, cut it out! Hota! Where's the bear? Stay away from Tessa! What if you're the bear? I kept my foot on the gas the whole time. I really want to kill Ota myself. Sweat on my palms. The engine rays at a high speech, a high pitch scream. But I could barely hear it. I'm a cop. My heartbeat was pounding in my ears, shaking me to the core. How much time has passed? The feeling of time itself has disappeared. Eventually, Kari reached the long bridge. Oh, come on! Shortly after, the image changed. Kill Ota. What? No, it can't be. No. That's where Ota. I'll kill you first. 
Dude, watch the road! No! Uh, this is the... What if this is just CGI though? What if this is fake? Polar bear? Iba? Can you tell me if that body could be faked? No! Uh. Could be faked. Where's Ota? I want to kill him first! I swear, maybe she's not dead. Maybe it's just CGI. Computer graphics. Oh, drift driving. Lovely. What? Huh? Don't, don't touch. This is from the Somnium Dream, isn't it? What the hell happened? What the hell just happened? Someone's posing as them, aren't they? <gasps> there you are. Finally. I was looking all over for you. Boss? Why am I here? It's rare to see you down like this. This is confusing! But it's understandable. You blame yourself for this, don't you? Of course! Although even though they knocked me out first, I want to kill them first. Should have been me killing them. Beating yourself up about taking Iris to marble. <sighs> and about letting Ota get the upper hand on you. I hate about that stun gun. Am I right? See. Si. Dude, that picture in the background is disturbing. Shall I tell you what Investigation HQ thinks? See, si. if I'm the killer, go ahead. Ota Matsushita is a criminal stalker who committed murder-suicide. Ota had think... a selfish love for Iris. I still don't think it is. He was under the delusion that Iris loved him too. But Iris refused Ota. This is a very bad conclusion. Very bad story to put up with the public. So Ota decided that he and Iris should be together in the afterlife. Killed her, then killed himself. I don't even want to die like that. Ugh. Boss, cover the cleavage, please. That's ridiculous. Ota would never kill Iris. And how do you explain the other two murders? I still think it's somewhere, someone out there. Iris's left eye was hollowed out. Just like Renju and Shoko. 
those three murders were definitely executed by the same person. The new Cyclops killer. There's no way that's Ota. Too many pieces don't fit. Too many. Too many contradictions, like killing Iris. What for? Even though she's the witness, but why Ota also? Such as? Boss? Hmm? Camera! Yeah, now you know the feeling. Pipes, pipes, pipes. Ooh, I don't like this. This is the most uncomfortable I've ever felt in this game. save it. Oh, this is so weird. Oh. Collage to glue in French and art that involves combining various metals, materials such as printed paper, cloth, wires, wood pieces, sand, leaves, etc. Peter describes Grimms as a collage of memories. It sort of reminds me of Mormon bubbles. Tell someone you love. Tell someone you love to image search. More man bubbles. Oh, it's so weird. Oh, this... Negative time. Timmy. Timmy. Multiply it for you to use them. Oh, so uncomfortable. I am so uncomfortable. I am very uncomfortable. I did not see this picture. When did you come out of the TV? Oh, that's so uncomfortable. I'm very uncomfortable. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Oh. Huh? Oh! Ooh. I didn't get to that. So I went to another route. Oh, I must be getting the bad ending. This is already a bad ending so far. Oh, I hate this! The heebie jeebies. Uh, it feels so bad. This feels so bad. I don't want it. I think I'll save in this one. Ooh. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You want to see the next part? Do you want to know? Oh, I'm having goosebumps everywhere. I don't normally do this. I don't normally feel this. Ooh, this is so bad. Ooh, no, goosebumps. Very bad. This story is getting so bad so quickly. Ooh, in a good way, but it's still bad. Oh boy. Even the numbers on my... Wow. I hate how this just became 3, 5, 7, 9. Thank goodness there's no one. Because the, the, the story outcome is so bad. Ooh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save it right here. I'm going to play this another day. Maybe tomorrow night. Ugh. I, I need to get my brain in I'm losing my voice.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, want to see the next part, or want to see the previous parts of this game, want to check out the other games I've done in the past, a couple, like really long way back, or if you want to check my new cha my other channel, which has all the AMVs, DMV, whatever you call it, go check them out. I'm not asking you to subscribe. I'm not forcing you all to, to subscribe. I'm just asking you to watch if you want to, because yeah, we're all bored in this at this time of crisis. Uh, that coronavirus and stuff. <sighs> if it's me, I'd rather die through a coronavirus than any of these deaths so far. Heesh. <sighs> so, yeah. Until then, this is Nadnarf signing off. <sighs> so creeped out.